And we now move to getting some examples, some insights from outside India, from the beautiful Himalayan country, Nepal, maybe examples of Nepal or of other nations. Over to you, Ujay Shakya, Managing Director and Founder, Outreach Nepal Group. Uh, thank you, Professor Ujjal Kichaudhuri, and also the organizer of uh, Brand Age to invite me all the way from Kathmandu to be here with you all. Uh, uh, it's, I've also taken this as my own learning experience because uh, we see a lot of uh, good work uh, on advertising and communication happening from India and getting really inspired in the whole region for all the good work that uh, India produces and also we get inspired by those works. Uh, coming back to uh, Nepal and the kind of work that is happening in my part of the world, uh, what I feel is uh, uh, content is what uh, people want to see, whereas advertisement is what we want people to see. You know? Therefore, it's kind of a fine balance between when, we, when you say uh, talk about branded content. Uh, actually, people are not opening newspaper to look at ads, right? They are opening newspaper to watch, uh, to, to, to see the news, or they are uh, uh, looking at the television channels to actually see some contents. Uh, but uh, there, there has always been this remote where you can, you know, like they can change the channels so they don't have to watch the advertisements. And in the digital world today, it has become much easier because there are a lot of ad blockers that you can install not to watch ad altogether. You know, therefore, I think the branded content is something that has given a fine balance, kind of you know, brought in a fine balance where we showcase the content and then also showcase the brand salience and other emotional side of uh, the branding that we wanted to showcase to the audiences. Uh, coming back to some examples from Nepal, uh, recently, you know, just last year, uh, during the sign, which is, uh, I suppose, known as Dasera in Calcutta, uh, what uh, I think in Calcutta you have pandals and you, you have a lot of people coming to those pandals uh, in, the, in the street. Whereas in Nepal, it's a different uh, story altogether. It's, a, it's the most important festival for, for the country. Uh, where actually people don't go to the street, but they actually stay back with their relatives, friends, or go back home. Because Nepal is also a country where there is almost one third of our economy is uh, contributed to migrant workers. Migrant workers not just in India, but other parts of the world. And migrant workers not just in foreign countries, but migrant workers coming down to Kathmandu, bigger cities like Kathmandu and Pokhara, working and then expected to go back home to be with their families uh, during this Dasai holidays. But because of COVID restrictions, people were not able to go back to their homes. You know, uh, uh, but then, of course, the, the people back in home, particularly the grandparents, they were expecting their family members to come back to be with them. Therefore, uh, we work with this large uh, telecom company called Encel, which is the largest telecom brand in the country. So for the first time, we created a five-minute video, which is a branded content, of course. Uh, which, is a, which is basically a story between a grandmom and a grandson, how the grandmom is expecting to see and be with the grandson, but unfortunately, because of COVID restriction, he could not be with the uh, family back at home. And, uh, you know, like the, the whole emotional journey between a grandmom and a grandson, it was uh, nothing uh, about promoting a voice, a data call, you know, like nothing like that. But then we realized that uh, this is the most viewed content for this particular brand uh, in all form of social media, not just in YouTube today. You know, therefore, uh, somehow, you know, like, uh, even though it is a long format content, we've realized that uh, it was really liked and shared by a lot many people. Uh, similar was the case uh, with another brand. There is a beer brand called Arna, which got launched uh, in, a, in a market which is already dominated by a very well-known company called Gorkha Brewery which owns three global brands, Tuvok, San Miguel, and Carlsberg. And they, they have almost 70% of the market. You know, and what, uh, like, initially the brand Arna did, did not did so well, but later they realized that Nepal is a country with a lot of youth. You know, like almost, uh, I think, 70% of the population is below 35. And uh, also the people who love a lot of music. Therefore, they created a music video called Chiso Chiso Pani, you know, and that music video really went viral, and 
and thanks to TikTok, there are almost 300,000 plus, you know, like uh, user-generated content uh, with that music in TikTok today. You know, and the brand, of course, became very successful. You know, therefore, uh, even in countries like Nepal, which is uh, relatively small in the regions, the branded content's importance has really increased. Uh, similar w was the was the story uh, with Tata Yodha, a brand from India. You know what they did was, uh, you know, Tata Yodha is a commercial vehicles, and and the dri drivers are not uh, generally neglected, you know, like for the kind of work they do. But they came out with the stories on each of these drivers how they are contributing to the society and the community. You know, almost three minutes video, and that really well, did really well. I also. Uh, felt that, you know, like, uh, after the digital media came in, uh, I think the branded content was leveraged more by digital media, but the branded content was always there from long time back, even before I saw internet and digital came into play. For example, uh, the Guinness World uh, Record book that we all know of is a branded content, you know, from my understanding, because that uh, was started by Guinness Bear, and the, it, it might look funny when I tell you this. Uh, it was started because, you know, like after having a beer, you know, the Irish people used to get really high, and they used to have a fight, you know, like about which is the deepest ocean in the world, you know, Atlanta or Pacific, you know, like that, that's when the brand realized that, you know, like to stop those beer, you know, like the the the, the bar fights, they realized that let's have this book where, you know, like they can actually gives all these facts into play. Therefore, I suppose it has always been happening, but maybe, you know, like we have kind of leveraged it more when it comes to digital and internet world because there was no restrictions of any seconders because in television we have to pay by seconds, but once we have uh, our own channels, like one of our colleagues discussed, the brands, there was no restrictions of any seconders and then maybe, you know, like it was easier or maybe cost effective to kind of leverage this, uh, this kind of a thought. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, till the time like people have a lot of leisure, I suppose they're kind, there will be always some kind of content consumption. You know? Therefore, the content consumption can be anything. It can be not just a story, but it could be sports, uh, startup comedy, music, you know, like any format of uh, branded content. Uh, I've recently seen that uh, because we've started working for a gaming uh, product called PUBG. So uh, there is a lot of branded content that is made out of uh, people actually playing the video, uh, the games, you know, like, and they make a lot of money by just playing that game and uploading those games live onto the YouTube channel. Uh, there has been instances like, for example, if we see a James Bond movie, there is always an Aston Martin and the James Bond going together in the changing scenario and coming from this part of the world also, you know, like I, I know in Kathmandu there is no Aston Martin, but then we all know about this car, you know, like that is also a format of branded content. Therefore, there could be a lot different form of branded content. We just have to keep our eye open to, you know, like kind of integrate into our brands. Thank you.